this gym has been Paul Casey's second home in recent weeks. While Europe's leading players have been burning a trail to the top of the world rankings, the Englishman has been pumping iron. This has been Paul Casey's life over the last couple of months, as he worked to get himself back to full fitness following a snowboarding accident last Christmas. Three months out with a shoulder injury, he's now close to a comeback and hopes to add to the 13 career wins he's amassed since turning pro back in 2000. He certainly won't forget Christmas Eve in a hurry. 24th of December, nice early Christmas present. Uh, snowboarding in Vail. Um, just an accident, simple as that. Put the right arm out on the way down and heard the sound. Felt a little bit of pain at first and I thought I should carry on at first. I thought, well, you know, why waste a good day snowboarding? Um, five minutes later, I couldn't move it and was heading back down the mountain to get it looked at. Fire those guys too, is your... I was told if it was surgery, it was going to be four to six months, and because there was no surgery, it was uh, a case of weeks. So we've been eight weeks now, and I'm now hitting drivers, and I'm pretty much ready to go. I just need to build up that little bit of stamina, a little bit of endurance, um, but it's not too far from now. Only three years ago, Casey was third in the world rankings, but a rib injury and this setback have checked his progress. The goals are still the same. It's just now a, a shorter time period I've got to try and <laughs> accomplish the 2012 goals in. Um, the great thing is I'm not going to miss any majors this year. I'm going to be ready for Augusta, and if anything, I'm going to go into Augusta fresher than I've ever gone into, into that tournament. I've got the mental game that I never used to have. I need to get the physical skills obviously up to par, and then capitalise on the next 10 years. It is prime time. If I think about where I was 10 years ago, I'm a completely different golfer. Much more accomplished and sure of my own abilities much more knowledgeable on everything when it comes to the golfing world. So, yeah, it's his prime time, but I've just got to get out there and start making the birdies and um, put it to good use, because it's no good being in your prime if you can't, uh, if you can't get out there and win tournaments. So, a break can do wonders for a man, and Casey feels he'll be better for this time out. He's reflected on what's important in his career, and apart from adding to his one tournament victory in the past three years at the Volvo Champions in Bahrain, he also wants his Ryder Cup place back. I want to be part of many more Ryder Cups. For me, it provides, provides great memories. You know, the, the, the battles you get, the, the pressure, the stress, the fun away from the the golf course and maybe when it's you know it's all said and done it's over and we're having a drink and thinking about you know what the week provided whether it was good memories or bad memories it's um there's still moments that you know i will cherish forever viewing from the sidelines has been tough for casey his generation of players like donald and westwood have stolen a march on him as have young guns like kaima and mcelroy but after five top 10 finishes in the majors he again wants a piece of the action I look at Luke and Lee, uh, Kaima, um, my friends, and I, I watch what they do. You know, for me, it's, um, you know, I want to be competing against them, I want to be beating them. But I also look at them and, and you know, admire what they're doing and, and try and learn from it. And then analyzing my own game and looking at the weaknesses and being brutally honest and, and self critical and going, all right, it's just not good enough. I watch my friends, you know, when they're up there in the world rankings with, um, you know, the, the right attitude, you know, proud of what they're doing, but I want to be right there with them. Paul Casey is fitter than he's been for some time. He could just provide the comeback story of 2012. <laughs>